you. We are following breaking news from Meriden right now where there are more changes in leadership. There's a new acting city manager after the man who used to have the job was found passed out and drunk in the hallway of an apartment complex earlier this month. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Luke Hydash explains the changes city council made tonight. Meriden city attorney is now the acting city manager after an 8 to 2 vote by council tonight. This is Emily Holland, city attorney and now acting city manager. She's replacing police chief Rob Rosado, who's been serving as acting city manager for about two weeks. They'll work on the transition to ensure that there's uh, no loss in services or anything to the city of Meriden. Rosado was appointed as acting manager by outgoing city manager Tim Kuhn, found earlier this month sleeping in the hallway of an apartment building by police officers. Officers said Kuhn was drunk. He was also arrested back in May for DUI and resigned effective January 1st, 2024. He is on paid administrative leave until then. That he continues to seek the recovery needed, um, and I'm, I'm sure he'll do that. We all hit hard times in life, and I just uh, hope for nothing but the very best for Tim. Bob Williams was one of two on council to vote against Holland. Out of fears, she'll be overworked, and the legal department will be shorthanded. And our legal department just has minimal staff. And I'm concerned about the uh, costs associated with potentially bringing in outside staff. Mayor Kevin Scarpetti says if that happens, changes can be made. Should within the next 90 days there be major challenges within the legal department, uh, the city council can reconvene and uh, look to appoint another individual. Holland will serve as acting city manager for up to 90 days. Should city council find a permanent replacement in that time, they can step in at any point or... If 90 days comes and goes, Holland can be reappointed or a new acting city manager could step in. In Meriden, Luke Hydash, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.